The ship that was trying to lead a flotilla of aid boats to Gaza has now arrived in the Israeli city of Ashdod. It failed to reach the Palestinian enclave because it was intercepted by Israeli forces. While the flotilla was part of a campaign against the sea blockade of the area. Let's get the latest uh, and the details now from Paula Slear, who uh, joins us. So, uh, Paula, do we know what will happen to the crew now then? Well, what I can tell you is that the first passengers who were on board the Swedish vessel that was escorted here to Ashdod Port a short time ago are now being released. These include a former Tunisian president as well as an Arab-Israeli parliamentarian, Dr. Bazal Khattas. Now, the flotilla that was bound for Gaza was intercepted some 21 hours ago. Three of the ships turned back to their port of origin and the fourth vessel, the Swedish vessel, was then escorted here by the Israeli army but throughout the course of the day the IDF was keeping tight-lipped we have only just been able to catch up with members on board and understand what happened and we were among the first to speak with Dr. Hatters after he emerged from where he was being held by the IDF now he told us that the RT correspondent who is and was on board that ship is okay that she's likely to be released with other passengers in the early hours of Tuesday morning he said that some of the passengers had suffered slight injuries, but that on the whole they did believe that this attempt to break the blockade of Gaza was successful because it put the issue of Gaza and the suffering people they have back on the international agenda. This is what he told me. Despite the fact that we didn't get to Gaza, this flotilla has uh, achieved its uh, one major goal, which is to attract attention of the world toward the issue of the siege and the blockade the illegal siege and the illegal blockade over uh, Gaza. We are hearing reports that some people have been injured. Can you confirm any of this? Yes, it's, uh, it's a slight uh, injuries uh, while we're, uh, the troops were taking over, especially with the Swedish uh, activists. Uh, one of them has been injured uh, because the Israelis used the teasers in, in order to catch him. What actually happened when the vessel was intercepted? Uh, there was a negotiation period for a few minutes, perhaps half hour. They tried to convince us uh, freely to change our direction from Gaza to Asdod. We refused, the captain refused and said we were, it's a very important point, that we were intercepted 95 miles away from the Israeli territorial water, which means we were in international water. So interception of such uh, uh, peaceful uh, a uh, Swedish uh, ship is by itself is illegal and uh, is something that uh, Israel should be sued. I wanted to ask you about my Russia Today colleague. We lost touch with her before the ships were intercepted in the early hours of this morning. Can you tell us anything about how she is? She, she's good. Uh, I left her just a few minutes ago. She with, is with the other group. Uh, we were all lost uh, contact with the world uh, since the, the Marines, the Israeli uh, Navy took over the, the ship.